Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to hold and take care of your lyre. Now, the lyre is basically like a mini harp. It was used often in Greece, Ireland, just around Europe, everywhere, really. Um, and there are different types. There are ones with four strings, five strings, ten strings, twenty strings. Mine has sixteen strings, as you can see, and it goes from lowest to highest. Now, I would tell you how to tune, but each lyre is different, and normally whenever you get one, it will show you exactly how to tune a lyre. Normally you have a little knob that you twist, and it just takes a long time. So, in the meantime, this lyre has a little curve to it on this side, and it's got a nice groove hard to see. It's got a nice groove and it's a smooth back so it can work if you're left-handed when strumming or if you're right-handed when strumming. Now the first thing to think about is how exactly you're going to be playing this lyre. Me, right now, I'm only working on using one hand and because I am, because I am dominant in my right hand, uh, I will be holding it with my left hand. And to do this, like I said, it normally has a groove that you can rest just your inner palm on and hold. You should be able to hold it by itself. You can rest it on the knee and then you would turn so that way be able to be comforted to you and you're able to strum. Now, if you are left-handed, there's still a groove that you can hold and it's got a bit of a wider way and it, the groove here, if you're not resting it against yourself it would be good for a nice grip and you can strum with your left hand it's really that simple um, now when it comes to caring for the lyre uh, there's always tuning of course and there's always cleaning Think of it like a, an exposed piano, where whenever you knock on it, you should be able to hear an echo as if you were knocking on the piano. It's good to keep it in a nice case. My lyre came with a case that easily slips right in and out. And another thing to remember, whenever it comes to a lyre or a harp of any sort, you do end up having to tune it a lot. If you're not used to your... Like, if you don't want to tune your instrument all the time, I would recommend sticking to something like a ukulele, a kazoo, anything that doesn't require often tuning first. I hope this helped, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.